I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday. Very active weather for the rest of this week. A chance of severe weather this evening. Another chance of severe weather tomorrow night. We'll check some of the Skycam shots around the Alpha Skycam network. That's the uh, Tuscaloosa Skycam. Bit of sunshine peeking through, pushing instability values higher. That's coming from Walker County, the Skycam at Parrish along Highway 269 south of Jasper and from Hamilton in northwest Alabama. Again, a little bit of sunshine peeking through. There's the deal. Still got the upper load just not moving. I don't think that's going to be a player now. It's not going to phase up with the uh, northern branch stuff, but we'll have an impulse tonight, another one tomorrow night. Temperatures this afternoon uh, as warm as 72 in Columbus, Mississippi, and Montgomery. Mostly upper 60s around here and around the nation. By golly, pretty mild for February. Really no cold air around and now, we'll be cooler by Friday in the weekend, but nothing dramatically cold for this time of the year. That's the radar at 144. Note those showers developing over Tuscaloosa and Hale counties, and that might be the beginning of uh, a bit of scattered storm activity in coming hours. And where the storms do form, they could be severe. I don't think it rains everywhere, but it will rain in spots this evening. And again, uh, we'll have to watch out for strong storms. There's the watch warning map. We note a winter storm watch now for parts of the Midwest. High wind issues over the northwest and a red flag warning over west texas convective outlook no real change we've got the standard uh, slight risk that's the standard severe weather risk for the northern part of alabama and that is a mesoscale discussion just issued indicating where a severe weather watch will likely be issued shortly for much of north and central alabama and then tomorrow night no change here that's a larger slight risk that includes basically all of alabama and some of the adjacent states and uh, the probabilities are still at 15% within that, uh, and we'll take a closer look at that in just a moment. And on day three, which is Friday, got the standard risk well to the east. And the rain for the next five days. Uh, this is valid through Monday morning at 6 o'clock. Rain amounts of about one inch here, lighter amounts to the northwest, heavier amounts to the southeast. I thought we'd check the uh, atmosphere where we are now. This is at mid-afternoon. And uh, you can see the better instabilities are a bit west of the state. In fact, down in Louisiana, uh, the surface base capes are above 2,000 joules down there. Very unstable air. Uh, the instabilities are hitting 500 joules in spots over West Alabama, and those could rise to near 1,000 joules later this evening. Moderate instability, not, not excessively high, but certainly sufficient for some uh, strong to severe storms. And this is the uh, supercell composite. And you can see the higher numbers are where the air is unstable, obviously, down over uh, south Louisiana, where that hits eight units. And again, uh, around Alabama, things aren't that impressive. But, they, you know, we'll have a brief window for severe storms over the uh, next few hours. I'd say the main window would be from about uh, now until maybe eight or nine o'clock tonight. This will not be a long lasting event. And this is the RPM, and this is uh, suggesting that. Uh, uh, and valid at 8 o'clock this evening, we'll have scattered showers and storms around. And again, those should go to bed by 9 or 10 o'clock. So uh, mainly large hail and strong winds, maybe an isolated tornado. There is some wind shear here. So we'll be watching the radar carefully. Now tomorrow, let's look at this next round, round number two. This is at noon. This is the GFS, the 12Z run at noon tomorrow. You can see the energy in the northern branch and the upper low over Baja that's not moving. And uh, down below that, the day should be fine. I mean, the day will be nice, balmy, partly sunny, warm, mid-70s. Uh, there's the RPM at noon. And, there, you know, there might be a speck or two out there, but I think the day mostly dry. Now, midnight tomorrow night, the RPM has not been aggressive with this. It's got some, you know, activity there, but not much. And then by noon Friday, it's all gone. And we turn cooler as those critical thickness values drop south. We'll check the uh, instability values. This is tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock, and uh, uh, they're up there around uh, 500 to 1,000 joules in place, much like the instability we have this evening. Shear values are pretty good. This is the 0 to 3 kilometer storm relative helicity, veering of the wind with altitude in relation to storm motion. Those numbers are very high, and uh, which means there could be a few isolated tornadoes tomorrow night based on numbers like that. And the EHI, the Ener Energy Helicity Index, as you might expect, pretty high. The bullseye is over Jackson, Mississippi, uh, over three. Very significant, but numbers are quite high here as well. And there's the STP, the Significant Tornado Parameter, valid at 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. And the numbers are 1 to 3 
And again, anything really over one is significant. Uh, certainly not as high as we saw earlier this week, but still, that suggests that all modes of severe weather possible. Uh, the chance of hail, damaging wind, maybe a few isolated tornadoes. Uh, I'd say the greater chance of severe weather, 9 o'clock tomorrow night until 6 a.m. Friday. And back to the GFS. This is Friday at noon. Everything's out of here. We start to turn cooler. The high Friday, maybe 58 to 60, something like that. Saturday, as we start the weekend, a nice day. We'll start the morning uh, in the low and mid-30s. We'll wind up with a high in the middle 50s. And Sunday looks good, partly sunny with a high close to 60. Next week, we've seen model runs all over the board here. Now this run is dry. We've seen some model runs with rain on Monday. We're still going to mention a chance of showers. Now we'll go to Tuesday. Showers are there with a surface low over uh, eastern Colorado. And Wednesday, pretty strong shortwave passing north of us. A very intense surface low at Chicago, 988 millibars with showers and storms here. So... Uh, inevitably, we'll get wet early next week, whether it's Tuesday and Wednesday or Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Kind of hard to call at this point, but uh, we'll see. And again, that might suggest some storms. We'll check the end of the forecast. This is March 9th. And again, no cold air with that look. Ridging over Florida, trough out west. Rain north of us, but if that's right, the weather here would be very, very mild, if not warm for early March. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you live around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, a great evening, and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.